talking about like behavioral stuff and Grace and Allen's tripping people and Odell Beckham's on a boat and Johnny Manziel. And I was always very anti Johnny Manziel. And this was my takeaway. Yeah. I said, he doesn't have a single habit that I would want my quarterback to have. Mm-hmm. He's showy. Mm-hmm. He can be undisciplined. He ad libs too much. I had heard from somebody I knew inside Texas a and He wasn't the most coachable guy. And I said, listen, all the things I want from my quarterback, forget size and arm. Right. I just didn't like his personal habits. Because <clears throat> I, I judge quarterbacks differently. But we were talking about behavior, like Odell Beckham. Victor Cruz came out and said, grow up. Jerry Reese came out and said, grow up. I'm going to argue, Ray, that's what they should do. Because we don't hold young people accountable. And what young people are doing, they're crying out for help. Mm-hmm. Odell Beckham's crying out for help. Johnny was actually crying out for help, but nobody would say, dude, get it together. Mm -hmm. So if you had a young teammate or did, you could say nothing. Wouldn't you say something? Yeah, and and, and I think, you know, um, one one of the biggest problems a lot of these guys have, and a lot of people with success, a lot of people with money, is they don't have a no person in their life. Everything is, okay, yes. Buy this, yes. Go here, yes. The no person is the person that you may not like, but you will respect at the end of whatever phase you're trying could to do. Could be a teammate, family. It could be a teammate. It can be a brother. It can be a friend. It can be whoever it is. Because once you have that guy, you'll find out how far you're trying to go in life realistically because you'll see how much time you spend with that person. Did that anybody no. ever in your young career sit you down at Miami High School, College? And say, did w- did you have a no guy? Yeah, I had a no woman, my mother, whose hands were very heavy, and I couldn't break that. I, I it, it, I'm telling you, if you think about what these guys are doing, Colin, what I'm trying to get people to start understanding now, because I think we're not we're watching these things happen, but we're not really paying attention to what my grandfather taught me a long time ago. He said, "What you see in the light." It's exactly what pe- who people are in the dark. Right. It's exactly who they are. So if Odell is doing this and we're seeing it, absolutely. What's he doing behind the scenes? Because because if if you know you hear all these you know Victor Cruz saying he should do this, he should do that. You know when you think about this Miami trip, if you're a real friend, if you're Trey Songs, if you're Justin Bieber, you know their lifestyle isn't close to the lifestyle <laughs> of an athlete. That's right. So if you're real friends of his, and he texts you say, bro, we gonna come now. And party with you for New Year's or whatever, you text him back and say, homeboy, finish your four weeks off, and then we'll throw you a party. Or you come hang with us then. Right. That's a real friend. But that's somebody who says no. You know, I, I would argue that sometimes the hip hop stars are dangerous because in sports, we as fans and coaches want discipline. Yeah. We're like, we love our discipline. Tom Brady didn't have a beer. Right. You on Saturday night, you have your candles in your room in the <laughs> NFL. It's almost like a seance for you. Absolutely. Hip-hop stars and musicians in general, mm-hmm. actually, we like them more the crazier they are. Mm-hmm. So if you told me one group, <laughs> one industry athletes shouldn't hang with its <laughs> musicians. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the crazier yeah. Pitbull is, the more I'm like, I want that guy's. Well, well, it's, it's just it's, it, kind of what you're saying is, you know, you have to find the right person in those categories, right? that are living that type of life. Like one of the guys that if I was to hang out with anybody like was a rap star, a hip hop artist, I would hang out with like LL Cool J because he's just a totally different thought process when it comes to the things he's going to do and the things he's not going to do. He's a little smoother. Yeah, absolutely. He's like, he's like way old, just like he's a guy. He's a man's man. Who was your most, when you were playing, did you have a celebrity friend? Yeah, a lot of them, but that's what I'm saying. They were, they weren't, Party all night guy? Nah, and 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 you, the people who really respected you, they wouldn't bother you. Right. They wouldn't bother you at all. Like I had so many of them, and Friday nights, Saturday nights, I would get all of these calls and all these texts, and they would say one thing: Do what you do. Good luck. Good, do what you do, right? But they're not gonna let you go out and do what you want to do, and that's when you see oh, when, when you see what Odell's getting away with. It's almost sad because listen, this is a kid that I talk to a lot, right? And I'm and I'm asking the question is, what do you want to do with the brand? Because sooner or later, Colin, let's just be honest. Well, the, sooner or later, I I the reason why I can walk in any arena or any stadium right now is because of my body of work. 
on the field. Yeah. Right. People, people sooner or later will get to a point. Because what 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 a lot of these guys, John Manziel, or the Beckham, all these guys, the NFL is a 100 percent business. And guess what about a business? They get to pick and choose if they want to deal with you right. when you can no longer catch passes for them. Yeah, the, yeah. the greater you are playing, yeah. the greater the extension of your life is. Absolutely. And so a lot of these guys forget that, dude, you got about seven years to hit it. Don't waste an hour. An hour. Don't waste a minute. For Odell Beckham, listen to this. For somebody to say, you're going to play Aaron Rodgers next week in Green Bay. It's incredible. Do you know what I'm saying? This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Think about for this. Me. He plays for the New York Giants. Yeah. If the Giants got fed up with him and traded him to Jacksonville, mm -hmm. his brand is over. It's over. Who cares? Right. I right. mean, literally, right. it would be like in the NBA getting traded to like Charlotte. Yeah. It's over. So it's like over. when you can be Steph Curry with the Warriors, mm -hmm. are you kidding me? Right. You're the rock tour of the NBA. Right. Does Odell understand the New York Giants are one of the foremost watch teams in our sport? A lot of kids don't until it's too late. Mm -hmm. The one thing I watched the most in my career was wasted talent. Yeah, a lot of it. And I'm talking about a lot of it. Yeah. To where it's almost scary that people will throw away opportunities like that. So if it's one thing I would share today and, and, and going forward with these kids, they and, and forget them by themselves. They need to create a culture around them. I honored my whole career, and still to this day as a man, I'm 41 years old, but it's one person that I honor the most, and that's my mother's brand. I will never disturb my mother's brand because she worked too doggone hard to make me the man that I am. And when these kids are doing this, you got to ask yourself, you see all of these celebrities and all these people and the way they act, and you're saying, where's your mother? Where's the respect for your mother? And that's what I think the whole picture we're missing because everything that we're talking about starts at home. And I think if you don't appreciate what home, what home's foundation really is, then no matter what camera's in front of you, no matter what game you win or lose, you're still going to be who you are.